Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. Today I wanted to go through the Evil Dead Collector's Edition. Looks like there's two Collector's Editions. The biggest one, the top tier one, has a Necronomicon included. So, I saw that. Yeah, look at all the shit you get. So basically, if you do get the top tier Collector's Edition of... Evil Dead the game, while wow, you get a hardcover art book, five art cards, okay, that's cool, a full-size Evil Dead Necronomicon, you get to have your own book of the dead, so that's some cool shit, you get an exclusive t-shirt of your size, original vinyl soundtrack, so you do get the soundtrack that comes included, wow, had no idea. Then you get in-game skins, okay, which is cool. You have a special edition game, an exclusive steel case. Okay, you got a steel case that comes with it. Okay, the deluxe edition of the game and a collectible box. That is pretty fucking interesting. So as it says here, Evil Dead the game is finally right around the corner in the collector's edition for this game is the Evil Dead fan's dream come true. It comes with a freaking Necronomicon for crom's sake. Ain't that some shit? It is seriously something to behold. It also comes with some in-game skins for Ash, one of which was designed by Tom Savini himself. Tom Savini's fucking awesome. Great director, great special effects artist. Tom Savini's the shit. The synopsis for the Evil Dead game goes like this. The blood-soaked co-op and PvP experience you have been waiting for, and we have two limited-run collector's editions loaded with groovy goodness that you won't find anywhere else. Step into the shoes of iconic horror hero Ash Williams, voiced again by Bruce Campbell himself, or join three of your friends in an overtop melee Shooter featuring wild weapons and crazy characters that only Evil Dead can cook up. You can also play as a vile Kandarian demon and haunt the world in spirit form to terrorize survivors. Spawning deadites and controlling items throughout the environment, you can even possess players and control their characters while they fight to save their souls. Damn, I didn't know you can do that. There are two collector's editions for this one. There is the regular collector's edition and then the totally badass ultimate collector's edition. So that's what it's called, the totally badass ultimate collector's edition. It has the record and the Necronomicon. Shit. Now the ultimate collector's edition includes a full-size replica, Evil Dead 2, Book of the Dead, Necronomicon prop by Trick or Treat Studios and licensed by Studio Canal. Okay, Evil Dead the Game, the Deluxe Edition for your PS4, PS5, Xbox One, S, or X. The Art of Evil Dead, the Game Deluxe Hardcover Book. Exclusive Evil Dead, the Game Soundtrack in Colored Red Vinyl. Wow, that's fucking awesome. Exclusive Evil Dead the Game Steel Book, along with two pre-ordered Ash in-game outfits. Huh. Exclusive Savini Ash in-game skin, exclusive t-shirt, choice of size, exclusive art card collection, Evil Dead game season pass one, and a collectible outer box. Okay. Then the regular collector's edition includes Evil Dead the game, the deluxe edition, the exclusive Savini in-game skin, the art of the Evil Dead, the Game Deluxe Hardcover Box, Exclusive Evil Dead, The Game Soundtrack on Colored Red Vinyl, The Exclusive Evil Dead, The Game Steel Book, you get your t-shirt, your art cards, your season pass, your outer box, and your two pre-ordered Ash in-game outfits. The only thing you won't be getting is the Necronomicon. The regular collector's edition is really great, but man, that ultimate collector's edition is a must. What do you think? Evil Dead game will be released on PS5, Xbox Series S, X, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC beginning May 13th. May, Friday the 13th, 2022, is when this game will be released. And I heard the reason why I was getting held back was to make sure that everything was in order, everything came out the way it's supposed to, and for that 
this game can actually be played on the Switch. One thing I do know is that what they do have is just a game. If you're just interested in getting the game and not getting any of the extras, the game itself is going to be $39.99. So if you get it through Amazon for pre-order, you'll be paying $39.99 plus tax. I guess if you're an Amazon Prime member, you'll be getting it delivered for free. So yeah, I think for a $40 game with all the stuff that is going to be included. And of course, if there's a season game pass, there's a bunch of extra stuff that is going to go on with this game that, you know, they're not really telling you about. I tried to look up the price for both of these collector's editions. A price has not been set yet as of the making of this video. So what do you guys think of this collector's edition, especially the badass one that you'll get that you can get the Necronomicon with? Would you guys be interested in getting that? Or would you guys be interested in just getting the game pre-ordered for $39.99 from, you know, going through Amazon? I'm not sure what everybody else is charging, but I know Amazon's going for $39.99 along with free delivery. So hopefully you guys will get your hands on it. I know in May I'll be getting my hands on mine. And uh, hopefully I get a chance to um, game with you guys uh in may so like i said you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below please share like and subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy 24 7 here with 24 7 fusion media <laughs> man and i sure would like to have one of those necronomicons shit and i'm out peace